Martin Jennings here from Lung and Sleep. I'm a lung specialist and have done a lot of training in bronchoscopy and bronchoscopic procedures. So I thought I just wanted to take this opportunity to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about bronchoscopy. I'd also like to thank you for entrusting me to perform this procedure for you. People often worry about bronchoscopy and which is reasonable but the thought of what's going to happen is actually worse than the actual procedure itself and generally afterwards people think well that was not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. So why is bronchoscopy needed? You may have experienced some sort of symptoms such as cough or, or coughing up sputum and so we may be performing this procedure to try and get to the bottom of the cause for that. Alternatively, there may have been an abnormality found on a CT scan of the chest and the idea is to have a look down into the lungs and take some biopsies and samples to work out what that abnormality is. Ultimately, the goal for me is to try and gain as much information as possible so that treatment for you can be guided as best as possible to ultimately make you feel better and improve your health. So what is bronchoscopy and, and how are we going to do it? Well, why don't we quickly get organised now and I'll tell you a bit more about it. Hi, so here we are in endoscopy. I'll come and meet up with you before your procedure and this is what I'll be wearing. Although it looks like my pyjamas, this is just the theatre scrubs. So to explain to you what we're going to do, uh, I work with a couple of anaesthetists who are really excellent. Um, I work, worked with them for a long time and you'll be in really good hands with them. They'll come and talk to you before the procedure as well to explain to you exactly what they'll do. But essentially, they'll put a little bit of spray in the nose and mouth. Now, this is probably the worst thing we do to you because it tastes pretty yuck. However, the taste goes away quite quickly and the nose and mouth become numb so the camera will slide down much more comfortably. We'll then put a needle in your arm and to give some medication so that you'll be nice and asleep. Once you're asleep, I'll put the little camera that will go either through the nose or through the mouth and have a look all the way down through the throat, past the vocal cords, into both lungs and look around. We'll then take some samples and biopsies depending on what's required and on what we see. After the procedure, there will be a bit of an irritated sore throat and it does stir up a bit of a cough. That cough will settle down and the, the throat soreness will settle down most likely by the end of the day. When we take some biopsies, there's always a little bit of bleeding. Now I'll make sure that there's no ongoing bleeding when I take the camera out, but if there's a bit of leftover blood, you may cough it out. So if you cough and there's a little bit of blood, that's nothing to worry about. About one in 10 people after bronchoscopy develop a little bit of a fever, and it might happen after you get home. So if you do get a fever after you get home, the best thing to do is just have a Panadol, but that's just a normal reaction to having a scope in your lung that your body's not used to. Occasionally people develop a bit of a runny nose the day after and that's due to the spray. If that does happen that will settle down and I'm sorry it does get a bit annoying. Sometimes people feel a little bit of pain just behind the jaw there and during the procedure when you're asleep we sometimes just have to support your jaw to help the breathing. So if you do feel a bit of soreness there that will settle down but that's what it's due to. After the procedure, I'll come and catch up with you again and I'll explain to you what everything looked like and what I did, what samples I've taken. So we'll get a bit of information on the day as to what's going on. However, the samples and biopsies, they get sent off to the lab and those results will go through to the doctor who's looking after you and will see you after the procedure. That may be me or it may be someone else. So on, on the day, I'll come and talk to you before the procedure I'll get you to sign a consent form just to say that we've explained what we're doing and why we're doing it. And that's also a good opportunity for you to ask me any questions. So if you do think of any questions between now and then, just write them down and I'm certainly happy to answer any for you. So thanks once again for entrusting me to do this procedure for you. And I will make sure that I do my absolute best to make the experience as good as possible for you. Um, keep in mind that our ultimate game, goal is to try and get you feeling better. So I look forward to seeing you on the day. See you later now.